already here on Twitch chat and of course on YouTube. Also, if you're watching this later, we have Gates. So we're we're playing playing a janky deck here. We're gonna just be uh, playing all these Gate Matters cards with Gate Colossus, Gate Breaker Ram, Guild Summit, Gates of Blaze. We're gonna try them out. They're they're all very powerful cards on their own. Um, if you have tons of gates in play, or you know, I guess with Guild Summit you keep playing gates. So we're gonna try it out and see how it goes. Um, yeah, this is gonna be something a little different. Um, I haven't played this deck. Uh, you know, we kind of built this deck here in Twitch chat, um, and this is where we kind of ended up. There's a lot of other cards that. that are like possibilities for the deck a lot of ways to build the deck but i think this is what i like to try for our first time here so let's go ahead and get to our games and see how it goes immortal sun's pretty interesting i could certainly fit in here <laughs> thousand gold for fun, yep. Bought the less bet how the decks are gonna do. I mean I can run a poll for how many how many wins do you think our Gates deck is gonna get before we before we get two losses? Zero, one, two, three, four, or five. Alright, there you go, there's a poll. You can type zero, one, two, three, four, or five. How many? You don't. You don't, yeah. Just you just type the number of wins. Hmm. I feel like people may be putting a lower number. I want it to be five, but I'm a pessimist. Well, Lich's Mastery deck would be okay if you didn't hit Mono Red. Well, we got Mono Red to start with. <laughs> Gate Plaza is very slow. Oh, I should have played it this last turn. But it doesn't really matter. I can just play it next turn. I guess I have Palace of Harmony. Hmm. Gain three. Should have played the Gateway Plaza the previous turn. So I could play the Gate Breaker Ram there, but it it would only be a two two. Or sorry, it'd only be a four four. Sorry, that's what I meant. It'd only be a four four. Is it only getting plus two plus two? I think it's pretty easy for them to kill four fours. And so I kind of want to wait a turn and make the Ram a five five. Runaway Steamkin is ridiculous. Yeah, Gates of Blaze would have been so good. Hmm. Yeah, Punch just did like what, 16 damage to us or something ridiculous like that? Yeah, 16 damage. At least we got a ram.
Gates of Blaze. Okay. Not dead yet. We're not dead yet. No, we're dead. No, we're dead. A mill deck? Yeah. Uh, all the donation inf information underneath. Like to donate for me to play a specific deck. All right, so we got Palaka Worms, Fiery Cannonades coming on in. Um, actually, kind of like Negate also. I don't know. We're not... We're not the worst in this matchup. We have a lot of good things. So this is going to be like a 2-2 two -two where they, like, see. So if we play this for six mana. We just gain two life. No, I will not be at Magic Fest Toronto in February. Um... Nevisa does end the game very fast, but so does Gate Colossus and Gatebreaker Ram. All right, gonna take out the summits for negates. Nah, Center Vine doesn't really do very much to help us out. Okay. We're kind of doing it. Yeah, Cinderfine kills Frenzy. That's not really what I, I'm worried about. I'm worried about dying a, a whole lot before Frenzy. Mesmerizing Benthic and the Blue Mystic from the new set. What's the Blue Mystic from the new set? Like Frilled Mystic? That's Simic. Yeah, X Wish Point play Playlist gets you the song playlist. Um. Alright, so we can Gates of Blaze immediately and deal two to everything. I think, yeah, that's what we're just going to do, because Gates of Blaze isn't going to be doing more damage. Oh, well, it could do more damage. No, that's, no, this is fine. The two or more gates, gain three life. I think we're going to win this game. Next turn we have Securitus Route. And then Gate Colossus. Didn't I just kill those things upon it? So let's get a couple green gates. Let's get Gruel and Simic. Ooh, Gatebreaker Ram. So I can play this.
play that. Yeah, no double steamkin this time, thankfully. Yeah, Gateway Plaza is very slow. So are our gates. Alright, so we go down to five. Does thing have Vigilance? No. What's Ray gonna do about an 8-8? I don't know. Take some, take some damage. Ram has Vigilance. That's the one with Vigilance. Yeah, Ram probably would've been better to play than Colossus then. They have to put all their creatures behind the Palaka Worm. We have to gain three from Plaza, gain three from Gift of Paradise. We're gonna be back to 16. Well, that's not a good way to win. All right, good block. Okay, see, we're real good against red. All we need is like the perfect hand and being on the play. Yeah, Colossus was unblockable, but they need to put all four in front of the Palaka Worm to stay alive, like all four of their toughness, like the three creatures, four toughness. Okay. Oh, is this deck? This is Gates. Just playing a bunch of Gates. Uh... Hmm. Watley, Warrior of Prophet. Yeah, that card's cool. I think I'll, I want to make sure I can play a three mana spell here the next turn, so I'm just playing Gate Gate. Um, okay, good. Not a chain. Where, all right, so now we can just fire a cannonade and kill the Steamkin. I'll save the Gates Ablaze. We certainly need to kill the Steamkin, though. We call this Teamer Gates, I guess. So yeah, we're just Teamer. Teamer Gates. There we go. Frenzy. Um. Get a Ram. It's a five five. Five five is pretty big. Five five is pretty big. Six six is pretty big. Seven seven's pretty big. All 
All right, we can gate to blaze, clear their blockers. Or I guess just well, fire cannonade won't kill. Yeah, fire cannonade doesn't kill the firebrand. So they're down to six. They had to hit double burn spell this turn. Because they are very dead if they don't. No double burn spell! Don't do it! Don't do it! It's a lands. Uh decline? Yeah. We'll just let them draw the three cards. They have to pay four mana to get rid of frenzy. Yeah, we'll be making some more Zov decks. Ooh. Decline. Gates with the win? Y'all didn't think we could beat Mono Red? Meh. Gatebreaker Ram. Coming through Clutch. Boom. Boom. Team Gates with the win. All right, everybody that said zero wins, you're wrong. What? Oh, what were the results of this poll? Oh man, should have written down like the results of the poll earlier. I was like playing and I forgot to look at the poll. So everybody who voted for zero, you're wrong. Most said two. Okay, two would still be pretty good because we have to go. We have to go two and one. To get to get there, you know. So, and two wouldn't be bad. Two and then three. So many people said two or three. Okay, that's a good hand. So we'll have Simic Guildgate followed by Gateway Plaza followed by. Followed by Gruel Gilgate plus Shimmer possibilities. All right, let's look for Gate to Blaze. Hmm. So next turn, we're going to play Plaza Route. Maybe you just need the land, honestly. One for each gate. Let's take another Colossus. We're gonna have five gates next turn. So these Colossus will cost three. Maybe I should have just taken the... I should have just taken the gate. I get two, two. I really use gates of blaze. Ah, uh, Vivian, that kills my Niv Mizzet. Let's see if you'll come to me. No chupacabra. All right, good. Not a chupacabra. Oh, it does kill the Colossus as well. That's lame. This is nothing. I could not triple Colossus. Right? Oh, maybe I could triple Colossus. So one, one. Yeah, I guess I could have. 
All right, um, if I go Colossus, Colossus, Krasis is only is just not very much mana. So I guess I'm gonna Niv and Colossus. So it's round down, so I go four. Okay, yeah, let's do this for two. Yeah, 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 okay. Yeah, that's play. Draw all the Colossuses. Get a bunch of one mana eight eights in here. Yep. No, yeah, that's the play. This can't be legal. <laughs> Alright, they're going to have to do some blocking. I got 24 power of attackers here, these gate colossuses coming in. Yeah, I wish they had trample. They can't chump block them at Draw least. And fire. So do I play Niv and then Shimmer? Or I could Shimmer and look for Gates Ablaze. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Gates Ablaze does seven to everything. I think I Shimmer for Gates Ablaze. Alright, we got a ram. Don't really need I don't need summit right now. <laughs> hmm. So I'm taking the route because the route draws the card off the niv -Mizzet. I think I really do want to go look for a blaze. For a blaze. For gates ablaze. If I attack and then they use removal spell, I'm not quite dead. No, I am dead. Never mind. So I don't attack. This is best of three. Attack removal spell here. I'll say no. No, I'm not dead if they have removal anyways. I mean, cause like the Doom Whisperer hits me and then I have like three other creatures to block the other three. Yeah, the Esper Super Friends was a donation deck. Um, I didn't put that list together. Um, but the, the Sphinx's Inside, I was honestly really impressed with it. The, the two life actually was like really good. I was, I, was, I was honestly really impressed with it. I, I thought before playing it, the Chemist's Insight would surely be better, but I was actually pretty impressed with, Chemist, with Sphinx's Insight. Alright, maybe I should have taken the ram. We're not untapping with them, is it? I guess I should have taken the ram. Gates of Blaze, where are you at?
Hmm. Um... I didn't really want to draw Colossus though. That's the thing. I've lost so much feel the wrath of Scala. No, music's still going. It just got really I guess this song is really quiet. Or something. Okay, so we're gonna have another a star of extinction also. Man, those Vivians were quite rude. So yeah, we'll get a star in there as well. I don't like the mass manipulation card. Hmm. Just need to draw our, our removal at the Gates of Blaze and Star Extinction. Gate okay, Colossus does not seem very good in this matchup. Or it's just it's just so weak to so much removal. Hmm. What do you need to do? I uh, just need to donate. Uh, it, a lot of information down below. Like, go to the donation panel. Uh, information there. You can click the the donate uh, banner, and then I'll play your Grixis midrange deck. And I can play that any day that you want, either first, second, third, or fourth. Um, my normal stream times from three to ten. Uh, it started ten hours ago, so we got we got two hours left in our stream. Uh, whatever, we're going sixty-one because I have to hit submit. I know what the star of extinction in, but decided to not go with the negates. I don't. I just don't want to take out all my the gate stuff. I don't want to take out the gate colossus and things like that. Wow, we got gates ablaze. There's no gates. Where are all the gates at? We have like four lands that aren't the gates. <laughs> Seriously? Where are my gates at? Okay. There's the first one. Alright, we have <clears throat> Niv Mizzet with our two basic forest deck. Hmm. Let's get lots of gates. Lots of gates in play. Ugh. Is it possible to play 
Kaya Karlov and the Mardu Aristocrat deck for the double trigger for for Judith the Midnight Reaper would be too slow. Um, certainly would be possible. All right, if I if I play, um, but I just yeah I don't really like the four mana creature in that deck. For Tesa. That's the card you're talking about. I kind of want to save... I kind of want to be able to go... Save the growth spiral for niv Mizzet for next turn. They have to just be sitting on a whole lot of removal. They're not doing anything. <laughs> Negate should count as a gate card, right? Yeah, like their whole hand is just removal. Maybe I should just play this Gate to Blaze and just kill this Brontodon. I will be the one. Crew, attack at will. Alright, our, our opponent came ready to destroy all my creatures. The belligerent needs her they got this one. They came ready for this matchup. Yeah, Hydroid, Hydroid Crisis would be good. Um, we would draw one, two, three, four. We would draw four cards. Yeah, that would certainly be a good, good card to draw still. No, I don't think Follow the Thran will spike with all of the gates and standard. Hmm. Well... Gain three. Yeah, I guess mass manipulation does just need to be in the sideboard. I mean, it, it's only really that good because of our our um, our circuitous routes. But yeah, mass manipulation would would have just been pretty amazing here. We do have, you know, Star of Extinction in our deck also. Um, that, you know, would be a good card to draw to kill that Braska. But, yeah, Mass, mass Manipulation would, would be better. Yeah, unfortunately, our 1-mana 8-8 eight eight just dies to all their different you, removal dragon. spells that they have in their deck. All right, tap any number of untapped gates. Let's go one, two, three, four, five. I didn't even realize that this thing does this. I forgot about this part of this clock, this card. That is pretty good. That is very good.
Wow. Guild Summit is insane. Wow. I forgot about that part of Guild Summit. Well, I mean, we could draw Star of Extinction, you know, like that's what that's what we're building towards here. We could draw Star of Extinction. My crew is the finest in the seas. They did not kill my Guild Summit. So that's good. So let's just Gates of Blaze. Kill their things. And then we'll go this. I'll draw the Gate Colossus. Play Securitas Route. Draw a couple more cards. I can pay the extra mana here. I'll get a gateway plaza into play. Draw two. Um, yeah, Gift of Paradise. I guess I'm Gift of Paradise in a plaza of the Harmony. Gain some more life. Play a ram. Play a Colossus. We're doing it. We are doing it. Oh, I should just discard the Gift of Paradise. Yeah, I should discard the Gift of Paradise. Having the extra gate actually for the draw is better. Can we draw another guild summit? That's not bad. I'll take that one. Ooh, Hydroid Crisis. Alright, so we have... I think we wait till next turn for Hydroid Crisis. Well, let's see. I, I want to draw Star of Extinction, I guess. Is the Gatebreaker Ram going to be bigger than Star of Extinction? No, it can't be bigger. Yeah, I don't have Explosion in the deck, unfortunately. So I only have 16 cards left. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. So they're going to get Niv-Mizzet back with Eldest Reborn. So we got to beat a Niv-Mizzet. Certainly a problem. Can we decline the draw from the Hydra? No, you cannot decline the draw from the Hydra. Come on, Star of Extinction. Alright, so I have 15 cards. So if we draw like 7. 
That'll put us to eight cards. I guess... Wait, how much mana do I have, though? If I want to keep seven mana up, so that's... So I'll have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. So actually, so thirteen. All right, so there's Star. Do I even star, though? Maybe I don't even star. Maybe I just play Colossus, Colossus, Colossus. No, I guess, yeah, we'll star. They'll just have two cards in hand. Three cards in hand. No, th yeah, the two. Yeah, that they'll have these two cards. I can't attack first. I just played this Hydroid Crisis. I literally just played it. Your days are numbered. Yeah, no rhythm. No rhythm of the wild. <laughs> nice one three. All right, so I need to to draw half X cards. So if I draw like six cards, that's probably fine. So I can do like twelve. But it's rounded down, so I can do 13. So that's rounded down. So I didn't draw my last gate. Opponent, what you got? Boom! Y'all thought we were gonna lose that game. Y'all thought we were gonna lose. Y'all saying we need bane fire? We don't need no bane fire. All right. Turns out infinite mana is good, dude. That guild summit just draw millions of cards. That was pretty good. I mean, I, I have a couple Bane Fires chilling right here. I could I could put them in the deck, I suppose. Maybe they're better than Niv Mizzet. With our opponent having so many... Yeah, I'll play two Bane Fire over two Niv Mizzet. Yeah, Niv's kind of a dead card, isn't it? They have just so many easy ways to get rid of it. So I'd rather have Bane Fire so I can just throw it at their, uh, their Planeswalker. No, I don't need Cinder Vine. Ugh. I think this is a mulligan for us. Where's our lands? This is, a r this is not good. Not good. Hey, we went on a mold four earlier today. Don't necessarily have to keep with five. We went on a mold four earlier. Yeah, that's our first hand with two lands. And we have the 
basic mountain and colorless land and all blue and green cards. <laughs> uh. Okay, there we go. Now I can cast Shimmer. Get the green gate. So next turn I can play... Well, next turn I'll play Guild Summit and then play Green Gate. Yeah, we gotta find... Um, yeah, we went on to Moldafor earlier. Against the seven. Um, gotta find Gates of Blaze. So that's that's the most important card right now. We know our bottom four cards aren't Gates of Blaze. There we go. Okay, we're doing it. We're doing it. Three damage to everything. They draw three cards. Oh well. They're just going to draw three cards. Can't stop them. Can't stop them, won't stop them. The stream will end with the start of the Super Wolf Blood Moon. Is that like a thing? Do I have KFC or TB12 in the AFC? I'm not sure what those are referring to, but I I want the I want the um I want Kansas City to win the AFC Championship. I I of course have not been watching any football at all today. With me doing this here. Wow, they took the gift to paradise? Oh, don't kill my guild summit. Don't kill the guild summit. Just just pass. There you go. There you go. Tilt. They gave us a chance if we would have just drawn a, a gate. All right, Star of Extinction. Ah, uh, Midnight Reaper. Okay, okay. So we. Gift here. Spiral. Gain some more life. Go and play the ram. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Uh, it's definitely worried about Eldritch Reborn there. Kind of let them play the Eldritch Reborn. We're certainly just playing the Gates of Blaze this turn. Um, because of Eldritch Reborn will make us discard. I'll let him draw another three cards, though. Midnight Reaper. They didn't have Midnight Reaper last time. Midnight Reaper has been just amazing for them. They've just drawn six cards off Midnight Reaper. You know, they have five cards in hand and an Eldritch Reborn in play. Or, like, you know, like if they didn't have that extra six cards, it would be looking a lot better. So they're putting lethal on the battlefield. Ooh, come on, deck. No. Thanks, Bluebird. It's all the Midnight Reaper. They got to draw those six extra cards. That's what got them there. Yeah, we mulled the four. We did mold the four. And we were like really close to winning. Okay, we weren't close to winning. We were, co we were like pretty close to stabilizing. Yeah, Bronte definitely won them that. They didn't have the Bronte on to kill our guild summit. Yeah. 
Yeah. Alright, one on one. Our deck feels pretty good. I don't really need dive downs. Hmm. We need Guild Summit to survive. To give enchantments protection? Not really. Just counter, just counter spell. Uh, just counter their thing that's that's trying to kill your your enchantment. I wouldn't mind untap land here and be able to play the guild summit. No land for the opponent. That's a bold strat. I'm just gonna play a 5-5 five, five Gatebreaker Ram. Nah. Pay two blue. Really? Just can't you just pay this play the spell? Why not to manually tap? I actually like the team of Anifer deck. Um I thought there was a lot of good things with the deck. Uh, I really like Vanifar. Re Rekindling Phoenix and Biogenicus. I think those three are really good together. Alright, so we're going to have to go to discard. I think I'll just, I'll just discard this Growth Spiral. Or I could just discard a Mountain. Discard the mountain. Oh, good call. I could just discard the gate colossus because we'll just get it back. Yeah, I don't want that mountain anyway. Hmm. Seraph of the scales, interesting. Dude, we're about to draw way too many cards. If I play circuitous route here, is this a may? Okay, maybe I should have played the second guild summit. Um, I'm gonna draw way too many cards. I could route and get basics, that's true. That's true. I can't gift into growth because uh, you just tap to add two mana of one color. This costs two different colors. Well, that's kind of cool. That's neat. Am I just gonna route and get basics? Hmm. One, two, three, four, five, six. Deal six damage to all the creatures right now. Don't really need to kill these things. They're not really that good. Guess if we have too many cards, might as well start playing stuff.
Yeah, ramping is, is like a better play, but ramping just makes it so we have too many cards in hand. Uh, cause we draw, cause we're gonna be drawing two cards with the ramp, so. Let's kinda empty our hand a little bit. Let them take a turn to kill our things. Ooh, double Colossus. Here we go. Here we go. Yeah, sure, you get some almonds. Colossi never die. This deck's pretty fun. I'm enjoying this deck. So how's everybody's weekend been? You know, Sunday night. Unfortunately, got weekends over tomorrow. Back to work. Ah, so close. Oh, holiday tomorrow. Yeah, it is holiday tomorrow, isn't it? That's always good. I think our opponent left two one ones back to try to block these. I think that's what happened. Could have route to win. Eh. Killing all their stuff is kind of more fun. Like, we were 100 million percent to win that game. Kind of like just killing their tokens. Okay. Um, so I don't think we need to do anything sideboarding wise. Our deck's too good. Yeah, this deck's actually, like, Guild Summit has been really impressive. Like, the ETB tap a lot of guilds. Like, Guild Summit, Guild of, like, the Blaze, the Colossus, how you just keep on getting it back is really good. Everybody kills my Rams, unfortunately. Yeah. Well, maybe two Guild Summits later, but not, not Guild Summit immediately, like, turn three, turn four, back to back. All right, putting the, the Jeskai Legends deck up on uh, YouTube right now. Don't we have guilds in this deck? Yeah, we gotta shimmer the possibilities. That could be anything. Shimmer of Possibility. Remember, if we get to 1,000 subscribers on the YouTube channel tonight, I'm back to doing a 12-hour stream tomorrow. If we get there. We need another... We need a little over 200 more subscribers. YouTube.com slash C slash Todd Stevens MTG. Thanks for tacos. 
You can find all of uh, my uh, replays here. I put all the decks that I play, I put them up on YouTube. Um, so it's not muted. Like, I know a lot of people watch like the, the VODs on Twitch, but those get muted. But I have a separate... Hmm... I have a separate uh, audio channel going, so there's no music on the YouTube. Yeah, it's, it's free. It's free to sub. So yeah, thanks everybody throwing some subs in there. Um, let's see where we're at right now. We're at 810. We need another 190. And Drew God with the sub here on Twitch as well. That gets a hype in the channel. Sub number 27 on the day. Thanks, Jusa. All right, so we're going to go ahead and block the Tithe Taker. They get two tokens here. Uh, but we can play Hydroid Crisis next turn. There'll be a 2-2. Two -two, so we can block the 1-1s one -one. One pretty well. And ga great Gate Breaker Ram is about to be a 4-4 next turn. I've got to get an answer to the Seraph of the Scales. Yeah, right? Yeah. Tithaker changes the cost of your creatures on their turn, like you're going to flash them in. Uh, this is the Strokes Reptilia. We need 190 more subscribers on YouTube, followers on YouTube to do a 12 hour stream tomorrow. <laughs> hmm. Let's wait till next turn to, to Crisis. Yeah, we'll go ahead and spiral, hopefully draw a gate, play the gate. That's not bad. Gains three life. And of course, getting this gift of paradise on a forest, so I could actually just cast Niv Mizzet next turn now. Do I attack with the ram? I guess so. They had to block with everything. I kill Tesa. I probably shouldn't attack there. That's actually not a good trade for me. So they they do block with everything, and I trade with Tesa. You know, they just pay the four life for Vanguard kind of thing. Yeah, that's that's not a good trade for me. So they get to start attacking with Vanguard. They let me they let me block first. All right, Nimbus, it save the day. We have so many gate colossuses. All we need are six more gates in play. That's all we need. So few gates.
We're going with the thousand. Like I'm trying to get to the thousand number on YouTube because that's what that's how many subscribers I need to be able to be partnered on there. Oh right, death touch. Hmm. Maybe I shouldn't have blocked with that? Yeah, I should have just chump blocked with a 2-2 and had Niv blocked Adanto Vanguard. Alright, that was a bad block. Bad block. I just forgot about the death touch, just doing other things. I forgot about the death touch. That's my bad. One, two... Not quite dead yet. Almost dead. Spooty, I'm still human. Mistakes happen. And we, uh, nope, too many Colossi. All right, still don't think I need to change anything. Um, I could play Fiery Cannonade, I suppose, for like the afterlife tokens and things. Um, I don't think we need it. All right, my bad. I'll try to play better here. All right, let's play first. Gate, gate. All right, we're starting off with the gates. We got a real slow hand, but that's perfectly fine. We're actually starting with the gates this time. Ugh. Hmm. Yeah, let's play Guild Summit next turn. And Guild Summit should be able to help us win. Maybe let's go Ram. Alright, Hawkeye's going to come take over now. Alright, Guild Summit, help us draw some cards. Next turn, Securitas Route draws us some more cards. And we're getting close to playing this Colossus for basically nothing. But Gates of Blade. That'll be a good card to draw. Hmm. Could just play the Colossus. First, no, it's better to just circuit this route. All right, there we go. Okay, next turn we can blaze plus play ram. Plus, that's about it. Let me do those two. Hmm. 
Hmm. Could just go Ram Colossus. No, not Blaze here. Um, yeah, they can they can pump Resplendent Angel and, and gain five and make another Angel. But if they do that, uh, you know, like they're tapped out, I can I can Blaze then and kill all the stuff. You know, Blaze is dealing five damage right now. That's not killing the Colossus or the Ram. All my spells cost more. If I do get to blaze the ram, they could kill the ram with like a Danto Vanguard and Tithe Taker, the, the token from Tithe Taker. Like by, by blocking, if they pay for life for Vanguard here, they get the afterlife token, they could double block it. So let's see if we let's see if we get a, a another gate to grow this ram now. So I want to do the 5 damage first, and then be able to grow Ram after it. There we go. Perfect. Draw a card. Draw a card. Thank you. I'll just get this thing in play. I'm using my man in the next couple turns on these Hydroid Kraysai. Anyway. So now we can attack for 17. And I don't think they're going to do 9 to us this turn. I don't think. Plus I'm playing Multani over Niv for the deck. Niv is really for control. Like that's why we have Niv is because it's an uncounterable threat for control. That's like the the point of Niv being in the deck. Multani doesn't help us with that. All right, Hawkeye, we are two and one with Teamer Gates. Yeah, BRZ, we had a 12-hour stream today. I got a little bit more than an hour to go. Planning on going to 11. We were doing 11 to 11. Um, so that means we're. I am not going to be playing Naya Value today. Um, yeah, so Teamer Gates here is actually... This is going to be our last League of the Night. Yeah, this is a budget-friendly deck for standard too, because you don't need to play Niv Mizzet. So, like, you could certainly play something else over Niv Mizzet. You can play like Nezahal is really cheap. Um, you can play Nezahal there, or you can just play Banefire or Expansion Explosion. You can you can play a lot of other things besides these Niv Mizzets. We played against Mono Red earlier in one. Um, it wasn't like Mono Red Burn. Like it was it was like this version with like a bunch of creatures and stuff. But we got we got games two and three. You're welcome, Free Sky. I'm glad you're enjoying the fun decks. Oh no, this is burn. This is burn. Alright, let's spiral. 
So next turn, Gates of Blaze can deal three damage to everything, but that electrostatic field is an 04. So I should probably wait a turn. So I guess I'll be Gift of Paradising next turn. Oh, that's true. Niv is a rare. Um. Well, actually, let's play this. Oh, that's Gateway Plaza. Hmm. Wrong plaza. I thought that was the other the other plaza. Basically, I did not get to gain three life that turn. It's not going to make any difference, uh, like, unless they kill us this turn. Because I'll, st I'll still just gain the three life the next turn. But I certainly was hoping that was the other pl <laughs> plaza that gained us life. This is the first time I've played against Electrostatic Field in all the leagues the last couple days. Alright, so I'm going to do green, green, green. I want to gift this land. And then we'll gift, I don't know, the Simic Guild Gate. Alright, we're back up to nine. Alright, Hydroid, Krasis, we can do one, two, three, four, five. Let's draw another land. Stop. Alright, so we do five. So we can gain. We're up to four. Four is not very much. Down to two. I like our chances for the games two and three, though. We have a lot of life gain cards. Um, let's get all these negates in there, cannonades to kill some stuff, and Placa Worms, Guild Summit comes on out, uh, Niv Mizzet, I think we took out Niv last time, yeah, took out Niv, and, uh, what are the other three cards we cut? Cinder Why do you think Cindervine would be good? Them taking one damage for each of those spells. Like, the very, very, very best case scenario, we play like Cindervines on turn two and they take one damage for all those spells. Those spells will still kill us a lot faster. Most likely, the scenario is, is we draw Cindervines while we're at, like, you know, six life and it's just a completely dead card. Okay, Colossus is still really good. Yeah, I, well, I have a decent amount of creatures, but I, th I think that's that's the card I was looking at too. I think I'm just going to cut the cannonade. Play one cannonade over one Colossus. Since we have Palaka Worms also up at the top. Our opponent did not play Experimental Frenzy. I do not think our opponent has Experimental Frenzy in their deck. So 
So there's our one cannonade that would have been that could have been the one Colossus. <clears throat> Cinder Vines is very good against uh, the hard control decks uh, with a lot of enchantments. Basically like Turbo Fog, really good there. We certainly want two gates in play before we play this Plaza Harmony. Let's go Ram. Ram could eat a few burn spells. Perfect. Love it. Makes Fire Cannon any better. Go ahead and play, play another Lava Runner. Go ahead. Lava Runner. If you give to Paradise a Gilgate, can the plaza then tap for any color? Yeah, I suppose so. Yeah. Yeah. So, I don't want to wait for... I know Cannonade's an instant, and they're playing their Lava Runner. I don't want to wait, though, because if I wait on Cannonade, it reduces my Ram's toughness to be 3, where a Burn Spell would kill my Ram. And so I don't want a burn spell to kill my ram there, so I don't want to wait. Alright, so we have Gruel and Simic, so we need some Is it? This ram so big! Getting out damaged by a sheep. It's unreal how big this sheep is. There we go. All right, we got game two. We got to win game three on the draw. Certainly seem to have a decent amount of creatures here. I kind of like that fiery cannonade. Let's get another one of these in, or maybe both of them. Um, Hydroid Crisis can gain like a tiny bit of life, but not really that much, and costs a lot of mana. I think actually maybe I just don't want Crisis. Honestly. I don't want Krasis. Maybe cut a Shimmer or Spiral. Yeah, we, we don't got time for no Krasis. It's just really, really weak life gain. It's just like, you know, it's like barely any life once you, um, oh, that's a really slow hand. Once you spend a whole lot of mana. Get out, get, get, get out. So we're going to be able to Gateway Plaza next turn. And then hold up, negate the following turn while we wait for Gates Ablaze. I know, the Vanfar deck is very fun looking. We played a lot of close games and everything, but and uh, had some good um, interactions with the deck. But yeah, we went out too.
So yeah, they were just passing turn. Um, I guess I wait and cannonade. Lava Runner. Tilt. Uh, do I negate this? And then I take four from the creatures? No. I just take four. Down to five. I'm going to play a Lava Runner. Down to two. If I play Colossus, I can only hold up one counter spell this turn. Oh well, I need to get the clock going. Okay, let's go Colossus. All right, no Viachino Pyromancer. Anything but Viachino Pyromancer. Anything else? Anything else? We got there. We're doing it. We are three one with Teamer Gates. We have beaten Mono Red twice. Two and zero oh against Mono Red. The creatures are so big. They're so big. That's why I was saying we didn't have time for Krasis. I wanted just the, the Colossus. You know, Colossus just ends the game. All right. Teamer Gates. How is Gates doing better than Vanifar? <laughs> I know, right? Someone told you this deck is trash versus aggro. Well, we are 2-0 against aggro. We have a lot of life gain in the deck. Yeah, right? Why do you need shock lands? Just get some gates. Mm -hmm. Alright, this looks like a keep to me. Yeah, the Mardu deck is in here in my decks. You can find it right in there. Dun, 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 dun. Um Yeah, I guess we'll just yeah, let's just go ram. Go ram this turn, ram next turn. You know, it's a 5/5 five five next turn. Just get these 5/5s five on the battlefield. Well, hopefully they don't have Lava Coil here. I guess it, playing a Ram's bad against Lava Coil. Playing the Jeskai Legends deck you played last night. Oh, I actually just played that just, just a little bit ago. We played Jeskai Legends, but yeah. I'm glad you're having glad you're having fun with it. Did you know how far into yesterday's stream you did Naya Value, planning to watch the VOD? Uh, it was the very first deck, Achilles. You can also, yeah, you can just watch the replays on YouTube. You can find the video there on YouTube. It's not muted like the VOD is on Twitch. And I'm still trying to get to a thousand followers on YouTube. If we get there by the end of the stream, we're doing another 12 hour stream tomorrow. We're at 823, we've only gotten six other followers from there. We got 1700 people watching here. We can get some more followers on YouTube. Thanks. YouTube.com slash C slash Todd Stevens MTG. Alright, that's a big dragon. Not gonna lie, it's a big dragon. But we got some we got some rams though. Thanks, Anomaly. Yeah, you just gotta click over to the YouTube channel. It's, you know, it's free to 
to subscribe over there. Because a thousand followers is, or subscribers on there is what I need to be able to qualify for being partnered. So that's what we're trying to get to. You can you can see the videos of the other decks we played yesterday and today. Everything else is uploaded. Um, I guess Jeskai Legends is almost up up there. It's almost done. What is this demanding dragon? I'll just sacrifice a creature. No, thank you. I'll just take five. Can't get rid of these sh these sheep. There we go. We already got the first game. Gatebreaker Ram coming through. Um, yeah, the Mass Mind Control could could certainly be a good card in the deck. I think that's probably better than Star of Extinction, at least for the sideboard. I have this in against the sideboard for like Golgari and for like Planeswalkers and stuff, but Mass Manipulation is probably better of like how you take them. I guess it's this is good against Carnage Tyrant though. Uh, do I want Niv Mizzet against Dragon Dot deck? I may not need Niv Mizzet. Maybe we take out Niv and put in Palaka Worm, gain life and still hit hard. Maybe I just play some Bane Fires. Um. Do you think Guild Gates will be banned in the upcoming announcement? <laughs> uh, Search Canta, I don't think you really need I think you have Guild Summit, which is like your better Search Canta for this deck. Um, yeah, maybe. I mean, honestly, mass, maybe. Like, Niv Mizzet's basically my anti control card. Uh, but that could just be sideboard, I suppose. All right, I'm going to get some Banefire in here. They can kill some dragons. Or, or you know, kill them, finish the game off. Any thoughts about Standard Orzov Death and Taxes deck? There could certainly be something there. You got a lot of really good cards. Um, you know, with like your Johnny Mentor heroes to get back like the good two drops, and you have Midnight Reaper. Could be something there. Were there any knights in the new set that, that I could get to add into Orzov Knights? Uh, playlist. Gets you there. I'll just growth spiral at end step. If you want this exactly this exact song is Many of Horrors by Biffy Clyro, if you're just asking what this song is. Or was. Alright, Gates of Blaze. So close to playing a free Colossus. So close. Because <laughs> I'm streaming, Eddie. Turn that from before, doing 12 hour stream for getting to a um, sub goal earlier in the week. Alright, Gates of Blaze, where you at? No knights? That's sad. Well, 
We'll find a gate to blaze somewhere. Let's just draw four. Hmm. I thought at least we were going to be able to draw a gate where I was going to be able to play gate, play Colossus. But I suppose not. Um, I'm never playing this forest, am I? I mean, I know I could discard this because I put it back on top and draw it, but it's still just putting it back on top to draw, but I want to draw a Gates of Blaze. Oh, Colossus cost one. I still had one. Oh, duh. Right. It was one mana, and I had one mana. Oh, I could have just played it. <laughs> Oh, uh, long night. Long day. Alright, where's this Gates of Blaze? We're gonna find one. Where's it at? Um, I guess I do get to gain 6 life, so I can go back up to 12. That's... Yeah, I can still cast Shimmer. Can I cast Ram? All right, so if I go gates, or sorry, if I go gift on this land, I mean, this is going to be my land drop. Well, maybe not, actually. If I go gift on the land, then one, two, three, four, gatebreaker ram, uh, two for shimmer. I cannot, okay, so I cannot play gates of, gates of blaze also. Okay. Eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. Just relax. This rope thing. Would Swordtooth be good in this? I don't think so. I don't think you necessarily need Swordtooth. Alright, let's get some life. We're not dead on board. Oh, it's, maybe that's why you're saying why, why was I doing what, what I was doing there. Yeah, so I know I know we can draw two cards with Securitas Route. I know we can draw another card with Plaza. Um, yeah. Hey, you're welcome, Orange Ski. But I'm just increasing the, my mana here and gaining a lot of life. Alright, so if I guild summit, guild summit costs three, I save three, I can draw one, two, three, four, five. I can draw five. I'm just going to tap five gates. And then I still have three mana for gates of blaze. Tap five gates, draw five. Come on. All right, I guess we're playing this plaza. And draw two. I'm not paying the one.
There's just no... There's no Gates of Blaze in this deck. We already knew it wasn't one of the bottom three cards. Gosh, we saw so many cards. We'd already shimmered three other cards down to the bottom. So there's 31 cards left. We knew three of them weren't it. So we, we just didn't find one in the top 28 there. Hmm. Yeah, we would have drawn four off of route. Yeah, so I drew five by just tapping the lands. I drew five. All right, maybe Palaka Worm instead of Banefire. No, that's a good point. Star is stars. Star is good. I like that. No, stars. Stars. Star is a good option here. I like Star here. Good call. Good call. This is a good. This is a good Star matchup. Okay, so you, yeah, you're saying we could have thinned two and then drawn four instead of drawing five, but I already knew the bottom three cards were were dud were duds. So like, thinning two would actually shuffle the library and actually put one card of like those duds back into the like like into a card I could draw. So we actually wouldn't wouldn't have really thinned the deck. We would have actually in, increased our chances. It would actually have been worse for us. All right, we got a Gates of Blaze. Not going to keep the seven mana card. I've been really happy with the Gift of Paradise for like the gaining the, the life, honestly. But yeah, Swordtooth. Swordtooth's certainly interesting there. No, we had we had 28 cards left that we didn't know about. So it was it was 32 Tom Clancy. So we saw 32 cards that game and there were no no gates or no no gates of blaze. 32 cards. Ugh. All right, this time we're we got our sheep this time. This this is looking real good for us. We have three gates right now. Hmm. So they can double block a ram. I guess I trade my ram for both of those, I suppose. Should slow him down with getting the land off out of there. Huh, they, they changed the gift of paradise. That's nice. So they, they auto tap what whatever lands you don't select. That's nice. Even like I selected a land that was gonna be auto tapped. That's changed, that's new. Yeah, I certainly like that the Rams never die to the Ablaze. Should gift Plaza? I mean, these are like five color lands already. <laughs> Rams can run faster than Blazes. <laughs> oh no! Well, they still can't block the Colossus. And that's game! Our gate deck, yeah, but we're playing a gate deck and we're currently four and one with our gate deck. Currently four and one. Final boss time with the gate deck. Reaching the final boss. We don't have a continue to use, so we're gonna have to win. No continues.
This is actually happening. All right, here we go. Yeah, no green shrooms. We have to win this one. All right, how are we doing on the YouTube followers? Are we doing 12 hour stream tomorrow? Do we got a thousand YouTube followers yet? We're at 856. So we need 140 for more people to click on over to the YouTube channel for us to do a 12 hour stream tomorrow. Vladimus, thank you so much for the bits there. All right, we got a few more people that came in. Thanks, Maya. Thanks for subbing over there. <laughs> Thanks, Thunderbeard. The thing about Plaza Gift is not color fixing. You don't want to tap Enchanted Gate for a draw with Summit. You want to tap the land to cast a Summit. Not exactly sure what that is, what the point of that is, but oh well. Have you considered Chamber Sentry in this deck? I just don't think it's necessary. I don't, I don't know what it really, like, what it really accomplishes or what, like. Yeah. I don't think you need it. You have to like play a whole lot of other like off-color gates, everything, make the mana worse. I don't think there's been like any games where I've been, been like, man, I wish I had a chamber sentry. All right, we're down to 125, 125 subs. All right, so yeah, we have Grixis final boss, which could certainly be tough with you know a lot of counter magic and discard spells. Um, this could certainly be a tough one. Could be a difficult final boss here. Hmm. So I'm playing the island instead of the Plaza of Harmony because they know about the island. See, if, if, that's a cast trigger. If the, uh, um, the Gates of Blaze would have killed that Nickel Ball, so I would have kept the Gates of Blaze. I don't really want to just draw Colossus next turn, right? I wish it resurrected back to my hand. It resurrecting back to the... Um, back to the library is kind of unfortunate. I want to kill something that I want to get something that kills this nickel bolus. Okay, all right, we'll re we'll go ahead and re resurrect it this time. Do we have eight gates? One, two, three, four, five, six. Dang it. I was hoping I was going to have eight gates and this thing was going to be free and I was going to grow spiral, draw it, and play it. Hmm. Um, Gift of Paradise. Gift of Paradise is a good card to discard to their disinformation campaign or Nickel Bolas or something like that. I don't mind not playing it. Okay, Colossus does just kind of die to their removal spell. Maybe you're right. We do need. Maybe we need card draw. 
Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six. So we can draw three with Krasis. Better, like, I don't want that thing to get discarded. That's the problem with keeping it in our hand. It could get discarded. Hey, we have a $5 donation here. Cosmonaut. Just wanted to say I really enjoy watching your stream. Great personality, great player, and really all around good dude. Hope to see you in those mythic tournaments or whatever Watsi is calling them. Well, thank you so much for that donation. I really do appreciate it. I'm glad you're enjoying the stream here. Play team. Um, three for Ram, three for Ram, two here. Yeah. So I cannot play Gift also. Ram. Probably should I should just let it with Gate Colossus that they know about. Colossus. Ram. Can I, could I gift and play all those? I don't think so. Oh, Ritual of Soot? That'd be annoying. Opponent with no fear. What's our possibility? Niv Mizzet. One, two, three, four, five, six. Probably should just take this card. <clears throat> we are at 13 though. I could just play I could just take the RAM and just play like another RAM plus Colossus. We gift here. We have three and two. Yeah, Nif can't be countered. They don't they don't really have counter spells though. These are all just huge creatures. See, I don't think. See, I don't think we need to play for the late game because we're gonna hit them down to twelve, where two of these things, like any two of these things, are lethal, and we get our hand emptied, so we don't have to worry about uh, keeping anything in hand for like a discard spell. I like where we're at. I like where we're at. <laughs> frantically treasure maps. <laughs> yeah, our opponent has frantically treasure maps. All right, they scry to the bottom. Um, both of those, they flipped the Ascanta. So now, what do they got? I would, I would certainly like to draw a Guild Summit like the next turn, but I think like just getting all these eight eights on the battlefield uh, is really good for us. But if, like, so like that was not a very good Shimmer of possibilities because we put Niv Mizzet and Guild Summit both down to the bottom, like two really great draws. So that's that's pretty unfortunate for us. Flipped Bolas gets them Niv. Yeah, I guess, yeah, they do they have a Niv? Yeah, they have a Niv, but we have a lot of power in play. Too much power for the opponent. So they're gone and we could just play a bunch of negates over a blaze. Like maybe I just don't even play removal. Do 
Do we really need removal? I don't think so. Cindervine? I don't think I want Cindervine here. I think this is it. That's our deck. I don't I don't like Banefire as much against blue black control. Uh like blue black base control decks, like how like disinformation campaign reduces your resources a lot. And it's kinda hard to hit a lot of land drops and have a lot of mana in play that Banefire deals a lot of damage. Of course we have cards like Securitas Route that make that a lot easier, but we were pretty fortunate in that game to to be able to cast multiple cir Circuitous Routes and have them resolve. Hmm. Guess we're mulliganing. Well then. What is this? Blah. This is when your gates deck is too good. Arena just has to shut you down. Arena can't handle the gates deck. I just have to shut you down. Comes in against Turbo Fog. Or just got control. Decks that don't end the game as fast. But that's a good point. They do have they do have treasure map to go along with Ascanta. Which certainly makes um Cinder Vines more appealing. The thing is I don't I don't really need it to destroy like those kind of enchantments too much. Okay, game three. Hopefully we have at least two lands. I would prefer three or four. Okay, well we got at least two lands. We learned not to just mulligan a hand with two lands last time. Yo, we never even saw two lands in any hand. Going down to four cards last time. It's like game seven of the World Series. Basically, this is so much on the line here. Can we win and get a five win league with Gates? You're awesome, Hanged. You're, wel you're welcome. Uh, okay. So I couldn't take the other gate, um, because, you know, I couldn't play it there. More mana. More mana. They play Nicol Bolas, I'm discarding Gross Spiral. I, I hope they do not. Uh, that is a, is a... Is a clock. So we'll get... Isaac and Simic. I like how it doesn't even matter like what gates I grab with the Securitas route for the most part. Oh, I should have got one of the ones where you pay one. I should have just played the Palace of Harm Plaza of Harmony and got one of the ones where I have to pay one. 
Hmm. Let it resolve. All right, come on, Ram. Thought I razored you earlier. They're scared of you earlier, Ram. Yeah, I've been really happy with the plazas. Um, the other plazas are necessary because you, you just want like 16 gates. They're not very good. These these have been really good of like gain three life. This has been a, a really good land. So last game, our opponent had Nicol Bolas in play for a while, but they never had the mana to transform it. And so that was really good for us. This time, they, they're they going to have the mana to transform it. And it's going to be much more difficult for us. Absolutely, it's worth giving up instant speed for another card. So the extra card is, is certainly better. Our, like, the instant speed is not really very important. One mana, much better. Negate is a great draw. Great draw, great draw. Let's just see what happens here. I guess I should have played this first. Dang it, I could have dealt one more damage. No. Don't kill my Gatebreaker Ram. No. I like my Ram. Alright, Ram. Ram down. Alright, come on, Guild Summit. Come on, Guild Summit. We haven't drawn Guild Summit a whole lot, but whenever we have... It has always been amazing. Because Guild Summit there would have just drawn us uh, six cards. That's pretty good. Would have been a draw six. And then also we would have like one of those would be a Guild Gate most likely. And then we'd play that and draw another card. So it would have been basically a draw seven. Uh, I'm not I'm not trying to recur golem here, I don't think. I think I want to draw things that draw me more cards than that. Niv works. Niv it works. That card works. We do get to just flip Nicol Bolas and kill it, but... Well, I guess the... The... Nicol Bolas is not killing us, and now they're, they're tapped soul. out where Guild Summit you shall taste will resolve. So come on, Guild Summit. Pain. Come on, you can do it. We can, we can draw it. Uh, I guess we'll just have to get an 8-8. I suppose. Banefire would be amazing. Uh, yeah, Banefire would just kill them, but I don't have a Banefire in my deck right now. I always have an answer. <laughs> yep, flip nickel balls is gonna get us. Man. Final boss. Couldn't quite get there. It's not a bad card. I mean, I guess there's a possibility. They have to block with Niv Mizzet. That's actually a thing. Nah, right? They're just blocking first and then contempting. Or are they just gonna chemistry's insight? How could I have drawn a gate for lethal? Huh. 
How would drawing a gate be lethal? Um... So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Hmm. If I would have just played paid eight, I could have grow spiraled there. But oh well. I want to, I, I have the gateway plaza that I can discard. They have a discard thing. It may be better to save the gross spiral anyway for this Niv-Mizzet. Yeah, you can find all the decks we played today and also the cool decks we played yesterday here. Streamdecker.com slash decks slash ToddStevensMTG. The ones from today and yesterday are the ones that are up updated with Ravnica Allegiance. All right, we're at 881 subscribers on YouTube. Only a little more than 100 if we get there. We need 100 of y'all to go follow on YouTube to have another 12 hour stream tomorrow. I guess we did wait for Niv with the Grow Spiral. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Yeah. Dang. Well, Gates really. It had a really strong showing there. It had a real strong showing. We're real close to real close to winning that. We couldn't get our guild summit, our best card against control there. We just couldn't find our guild summit to to really refill. Um Yeah, we just never found the guild summit. That was that's the card that uh you know, if we found it in the first 20 25 cards probably, 30 cards maybe. Yeah, and then one of those games we just died to Mulligan, right? So we only got to play two games, and we we won one, we lost one. The the second game that wasn't even a game, so no, I definitely don't need Rhythm of the Wild. Um, right, I have I have also definitely believed that Hydroid Crisis is pretty meh. I was not that was certainly the least impressive card in the deck was Hydroid Crisis. Um, not impressed with Hydroid Crisis basically at all. Uh, it's like you know it's like even with a ton of mana, it's like draw three and then be like this big creature that's definitely dying. I think I'd rather have some other kind of draw spell here. I think I think that being explosion, honestly, would have been a lot better for us. Where we just deal a lot of damage and draw cards. Yeah. I think that... I think that's a an upgrade for that deck. Um, but there we go. Yeah, and we could copy their spells. Like, uh, if they try to essence, uh, I guess that doesn't work. If they try to negate a guild summit, then we can copy their negate. We could also copy the gates of blaze if we want to do even more damage, or we could copy shimmer possibility stuff like that. Yeah. <laughs> No, no scape shift. Not playing scape shift. In there. All right, thanks, Madfish. Yeah, double securitus route. Yeah, double securitus route. Copying securitus route would be nice. Definitely, definitely. So, there we go. Cyborg probably still needs some work, um, but we'll work on that the last time. Um. Ugh. Um. Okay, so if you're watching this on YouTube, thanks for watching. I uh, hope you hit that subscribe button if you're watching this in the future there. And I uh, hope you check out another video here.
So again, thanks for watching.